Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this sunrise yoga. We're going to connect in, really tune into our bodies, get moving and welcome the day. So clear a nice space, get into some comfy clothes and let's get started. Okay, so we're starting today's class in child's pose. So coming onto your knees, you can walk your knees wide for more into the hip release or you can keep your knees close for more back stretch. Sitting back onto your heels, lengthening your arms forward, drawing the crown of your head, your forehead towards the ground. And relaxing over your legs. Taking a moment to reconnect. Get in tune with your day, with your body. And see how you're feeling, taking this time to move into yourself, to learn about yourself and care for your body. Giving yourself this time. So already you're breathing through your nose, taking those deep breaths into your chest, expanding your body. Take one more deep breath in child's pose. And then walk your hands around to the right side of your body into a little side stretch. Inhale, exhale, release over to the side. Taking those deep breaths, feeling any areas of tension you want to work through already, any areas you want to wake up, connect with for the rest of your day. And walking through centre to the left side. Again, inhale. Exhale, relax over. back to centre. We're going to move on up into tabletop so your wrists stacked underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and we're going to move through a rolling cat and cow. So inhale, chest forward, tailbone up. Immediately exhale, press on up, press your navel up and through. Inhale, reaching forward. So let's make this a motion. Find the peak of your inhale and then exhale, roll on through your spine, reaching up and through like a cat. Inhale one more time, rolling forwards, reaching that chest forwards and exhale. Press on up. Moving into a rolling puppy pose now. Extra length in the spine, so walking your hands forwards, inhale. Exhale, dropping that chest towards the ground. When you run out of breath, inhale, draw your navel up, roll forward towards your hands, rolling up your spine. Exhale, drop back down again. Inhale again, reaching forwards. One last time, exhale, dropping down. Take a few breaths in this still puppy pose. Expanding your chest, opening out your shoulders, opening out your heart center for today. Reaching those hips up, the legs long in line with your knees. And then come up to your hands, walking back. We're gonna sit back onto those heels. So just releasing your neck a little bit, move your neck around however feels nice, taking those deep breaths, really tuning in 
to your neck, to your body, feeling the weight of your head, maybe making little semicircles, maybe looking side to side, up and down, never dropping your neck all the way back, protecting that neck. And one last little motion on the ground. Clasp your fingers together. Press forwards into a heart opener, pressing the back of your chest, the back of your upper back outwards. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, dropping those arms, drawing your shoulder blades down your back, nice and controlled, feeling the motion of your arms and your shoulders. Push forwards one more time, pressing those palms forwards. Inhale, reaching up, opening out your chest. We're opening out all parts of the heart center. Exhale, dropping back down. Let's do that one more time to really feel that motion. Press forwards. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, dropping back down. Now want to shake out your hands a little bit, there might be some tension in your fingers, really releasing all the tension. And then dropping into tabletop one more time, finding that stack, wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I'm going to tuck those toes, press your hips on up into a bent knees downwards facing dog. So finding that connection in your hands, spreading out your hands, finding the even distribution of weight all across your palm and into your fingertips. Lengthening your shoulders away from your neck, lengthening your spine out towards your hip bones. And those legs long, pressing your heels down if you can, if it feels good for you today. Really listening to your body. If any pose is too much or not enough, adjusting. Taking care of your individual body, finding your pose. Breathing deeply. Finding the life force in your breath. And we're gonna wake up the ankle. So rise up one heel pressing down the opposite heel and then rise up both and switch pressing down the first heel paddling the feet like this in your own time in your own breath Plant both heels down, see if you can lengthen your legs, adding a little extra stretch, being really careful with those hamstrings. And then looking forward, walking with baby steps towards your wrists, finding those feet hip distance apart, and then relaxing over your legs. So still having a little motion, always moving today. Waking up, connecting, you can add a little rock, wherever feels good, across your feet, really small, or you can release your hands, plant down your legs, add a little rock with your torso, side to side. And then find the stillness and plant your left hand or your fingertips down in the middle of your chest on the ground. Bend your left leg and reach on up into a twist towards the sky. And reverse, planting down that right hand, bending the right leg, reaching up with the left hand. Okay, swing both arms down, lengthen your legs, lengthen your spine, come all the way up to standing. So add in a little movement, shake out a little bit if there's any tension. And then we're going to connect in with this standing position. So spreading those toes out, planting down to the four corners of your feet, lifting up, opening out with your shoulders making your face relaxed, 
not just finding mountain pose just yet. But close your eyes if that feels nice. You might want to press your palms into your stomach. And connect with the breath inside you. Feeling the breath on your skin. The air around you at the same time. Looking inside and feeling the flow outside. Now I want you to lift your arms up keeping your shoulders down your back and see if you can feel the connection lengthening up towards the sky while your feet are planted and supported. You're lifting up towards the sun and the space around you. Feel your height and your awareness of yourself in the space as well as your weight on the ground. Take one more deep breath and relax. Okay, moving into those sun salutations. So feet together at the front of your mat, grounding down like we were before into the four corners of your feet, lifting up those knees, engaging your legs, shining your tailbone down to correct your pelvis, making your pelvis strong, bringing that navel in and up, opening up your shoulders, Chin parallel to the ground, keeping that neck long, breathing through your nose in this mountain pose. Inhale, look on up to joint palms. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step on back to a high plank position, lengthening out your spine, drawing in your navel, and then dropping elbows close all the way towards the ground. Inhale, pull through into upward facing dog, wrapping those arms forwards, supporting your back with your core. Exhale, rolling over your feet, pressing back into downward facing dog, taking five deep breaths here, connecting Finding the stillness after that flow. Observing how you feel already. Inhale, looking forward, step through to the front of your mat, feet together, half lift, lengthen your spine, your legs, exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, come on up, look up to joint palms, exhale, hands to prayer, Samastiti. Moving into Sun Salutation B now. So inhale, bend your knees, squeeze your thighs together, support your body, sweep your fingertips along your mat, look up to joint palms in chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, half lift, lengthen out. Exhale, planting those hands, stepping back to high plank, lowering down. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. And then not stopping here. So inhale, raising up that right leg. Exhale, drawing the knee through to the chest, planting that foot in between your hands. Tucking your back heel down and coming up with your body with stability and strength into warrior one. Take a deep breath and flowing back down, palms to the ground, tucking your back toes under, stepping back, lowering down, exhale. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Inhale, lifting off your left leg, drawing it through, exhale, planting your foot down, turning your back heel in, coming up to warrior one on the left side. Finding the grounding in your feet, the length in your body, 
hot in your core. Exhale, plant your hands down, tuck your toes back, step on the back, almost through with this flow, pressing down. Inhale, upwards facing dog. Exhale, downwards facing dog. Take five breaths of stillness here. Observing your down dog now. Feeling any more openness. Any more awareness of your body. Any more connection with your hands, your feet into the ground. And then inhale, looking forward, coming to the front of your mat, toes together, half lift. Exhale, folding over your legs. Bend your knees, inhale, sweep your fingertips along your mat, look up to join palms and chair. Exhale, lengthen your legs, hands to prayer, Samasthiti. Okay, so one last move, one last pose before we flow to the ground. We're going to find our centre and our balance today in tree pose. So bring up your left foot, ground down into your right foot. See, first if you can lift off this left foot, find that strength, the connection in the one leg. And then you can bring your heel to your ankle, keeping the ball of your foot grounded. You can lift up through center, bringing your foot to the outside of your calf. Through center again, always missing your knee joint to anywhere along your thigh. Bringing your hands to prayer position when you're ready in your tree pose, listening to what you feel is good today for you to tune in. That's all required today. There's no expectation, no judgment. If you need to come down, come back up, that's excellent for listening to yourself. If you need to stay down, finding less today, really great. Finding a spot on your wall or wherever you're looking to direct your focus and your balance. And then rise your arms up if that feels good, grounding down into that one foot, lengthening up reaching up like a tree as you root down and rise and let's switch to the opposite side hands to prayer, knee to centre, sliding back down and repeating on the opposite side, grounding down into your left foot heel to ankle foot to calf, missing the knee anywhere along your thigh hands to prayer Rising those arms up, finding your balance, rooting out in that one foot, rising up with your arms, opening out, expanding with your breath. Finding your focus. Now let's bring the hands back to prayer, knee to centre, reaching that foot back down. Okay, flowing to the floor, inhale, reach on up, exhale, fold over your legs, inhale, half lift, plant your hands, step back, exhale, dropping down, inhale, upwards facing dog, Exhale, downwards facing dog. Okay, so pausing a moment in down dog. And then we're going to inhale, walking your right foot in between your hands, dropping that back knee down into a low lunge. Finding a moment here. Still expanding, reaching your thighs away from each other more than dropping those hips down, working on the length in the legs, finding the space and expanse in your body, more than thinking of crunching and sinking down, we don't want that. Okay, 
you're comfortable here, you can obviously stay here, whatever feels good for you today. Or you can come up, bring your hands to your hips. Make sure that your ankle is further away than your knee or directly above it. Never underneath, never too close. Walk it out if it's too close. See if you can stretch a little bit further. And then we're going to rise those arms up, finding the length in the side body. Take one more deep breath. And plant your hands down to either side of your foot. So I want to try something a little bit different today to bring in a little extra stretch, a little extra dynamic. So we're going to try wild thing. See if you can swivel to face the back of the room. Sitting down on this back hip, release that bent leg, the right leg, and swivel it round so that you're sitting down with that right foot planted close to your sit bones. Reaching back with your left hand, the one that is extended the same as your leg, and plant down into this bent right foot and this extended left arm. And see if you can lift your hips up, and open out your chest. Feels great, it feels most helpful if you have that foot as close as possible. You can even come up onto the balls of that foot, that right leg, and lift on up. Making sure this left arm is now above, directly stacked underneath your shoulder and swiveling back down. See if you can roll through, finding down dog. And we're going to repeat on the opposite side. So walking that left foot forward, planting the back right knee down, finding your low lunge, lengthening out those legs. Finding the space and expanse in your legs. And again, if this is comfortable, you can stay there. Or you can lift on up. Bring your hands to your hips. Again, making sure that ankle is beyond or directly underneath your knee. And that we're stretching away these legs. Lift your arms up, lengthen up. And plant those hands back down. So I'm just going to shuffle for a little bit more room. Make sure you have room to the side of you. And we're swiveling around, coming to sit on that back hip. Releasing that left foot and planting that left foot down close to your sit bones. You can come up onto the ball of your foot to give you a little bit extra height. And then we're reaching back with the extended arm. Lift, rise up those hips and reach on back into wild thing. Take a few breaths, expand your body. And lengthening back down. Swiveling round into down dog. Take a few breaths to clarify all that in your mind if it was new and then walk forward into a forward fold again feet towards the wrists shake out any tension that you might have gained you've already tried something that's new maybe a bit challenging already today expanded your horizons and then walk your feet a little bit further apart. Turn your feet out so that they're in line with your knees if you bend them outwards. And we're moving into squat pose malasana, sitting on down towards the ground. If you're comfortable, lifting your arms off, bring them into a prayer position. Pressing your elbows into your knees, pressing them apart. Grounding down, finding this really grounding pose wherever you are in it, wherever you can bend. As long as you're making sure your feet 
are in line with where your knees are bending, the way your hips are opening, that's safe and that's perfect. Taking those deep breaths. Almost done. So see if you can reach back and sit back. Sit on back to your hands, keeping your feet on the ground, hip distance apart, and then see if you can swivel one way, turning your hips, your knees one way, and switching to the opposite direction. Just releasing, rolling through any tension, twisting your back, really gentle. This is the last little pose we're going to do before we move to the end. So sitting up onto your sit bones, find a comfortable cross leg position and today we're going to finish with tuning in a little deeper instead of relaxing. Bring your hands towards your knees, palms can be facing up or down or you can rest your palms in your lap. Find a long spine Lengthen up away from the ground so the energy can flow up and down freely. Open out your shoulders and relax your face. See if you feel any openness in this pose from the work you've already done. And bring your awareness to your breath like we did at the start. Tune back in with your breath. See if it's any easier. Maybe it's not. Not forcing anything, but just feeling what you feel in your chest as you breathe. Letting it come into you and letting it go. Letting it be felt. And then move on its path. Feeling how your breath moves inside your body. And letting go of any thoughts about maybe what you need to do today, maybe they're already arising. Know that you can have this moment, these few seconds, few minutes, to really take the time for yourself to tune into your body learn from yourself, see what you need today, see how you're feeling, knowing it's valid, knowing you can let it go and you can always return to this safe home that is your body and your strength and your stillness. So before you go off and prepare for your day or the rest of your day, take a moment in silence just to breathe, be at home, be with your body and really connect. And then bring your palms to heart center in prayer position. Bow your head to your hands, thanking yourself for the practice you've done today. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your time, your morning with me today. I hope that you're feeling refreshed and tuned in, ready to go on with the rest of your day and have a really great day. So namaste and I hope to see you soon.